What's good, YouTube? Nappy Hand Miller here, back like a bad habit. And today we're going to be talking about Mr. Norville himself. Like, share, subscribe. Um, this isn't no backlash or anything to him. I just saw this tweet on a Facebook page. Somebody screenshot the first part of this tweet, which I have highlighted here. And I kind of wanted to comment on it, but I want to make sure it was the whole tweet because I noticed it said continue. So we'll go over it together and then I'll give my thoughts. Um, but before then, I know I already said like, share, subscribe, but we also have a Twitch stream. Now that's where if you want to come over and see more about me right now, I am playing more shooters, but with Eugene dropping on Grand Blue and you guys seeing I have Grand Blue content on my channel, we'll definitely be testing them out on the stream. So yeah, let's get started. So no, I'm gonna just call him no because his, his name is kind of hard to pronounce for me, but well, let's read the tweet. I feel like I don't understand the FGC anymore. I used to think the main goal was to play the games competitively, i.e. try to approve at them. And that's what separate us from random Joe who masters XO, XO, XO with Eddie and Tekken and finds this satisfying. He continues. But how is this reflected in various internet spaces? I look at various FG subreddits and 99% are memes. I look at YouTube and the more important videos in, in terms of the topic, the content gets less attention. If it, So basically what he's saying there, because I know I'm jumping up all the words, reading too fast. Basically he's saying if it's something prevalent on improvement in the FGC, they don't get paid attention to it. That's just the short term of it. Um, even in my own channel, the more advanced videos that I cover, more important subjects tend to get less attention, like the approved tick throw video, super important tech without being character specific and still got way below average views. People like watching KOF trials and harp about how hard the game is, but when I'll release the video on how important your execution in KOF, how important your execution in KOF, I guess it is, I already know it will only get a fraction of attention. Do people even care about improving at the games? Only in Discord, it seems. Now, if you don't know who No Vril is, he is a content creator. He did the Guilty Bits, though so he is very prevalent when it comes to Guilty Gear SS Core R. And he did basically a breakdown of how every character works, you know, in terms of execution, how you should play them, etc., etc. Now, he has some good points and he has some points I don't agree with. Let's break this down bit by bit. And actually, I'm gonna switch over to my face cam to do this. So I, so as you all see my lovely new setup in the background, don't get off track, that's besides the point. I do wanna talk about the elephant in the room. Um, I do feel, looking at these tweets, I feel like Nov is coming from a place of content creating. I don't feel like he's actually coming from a place of, does the FGC wants to improve? And it's, it's key notes of what I noticed. It's, he kept harping on views towards the end. He harped on the views on KOF. He harped on the views on him putting advanced tech on KOF. And then he harped on the views on advanced tech during this tick throw thing. He, he harped on those three times. It's little subtle notes unless you're a content creator. Well, some of y'all, you ain't gotta be a content creator to peep it, but I peeped it. So it's coming from a place of, it sounds like he he's more mad at the views aren't going up compared to actual improvement in the FGC. That's just me. That's just my opinion. I'm clearly gonna put a tag with this man's name in. I'm clearly gonna tag him in Twitter. So I just want it to be known now before anybody says anything. That's my opinion from a content creator point of view. Now, from a FGC point of view, um, he has some points. I do think he has some points Um, really on the Reddit part, but then again, all his points has a, well, you should have known better type aspect to it. You know what I'm saying? Reddit is 99% memes, but everybody knows Reddit is not where you go when you want to give off information. It feels like people in Discord are the only ones that want to get better, but we clearly know that because that's what Discord is made for to have like minded people with specifically tailored to what you want in those certain discords. So, if you want a competitive base, no shit, we want to improve Discord, you just create it and then you promote it and then you get people to come to it, and then that's the Discord. Nothing but competitors, nothing but killers. That's all it is. Now, something that I do disagree is on his opinion on what he thought the FGC was. Now, this is his opinion, 
so I can respect it, but I have to kindly disagree with it. Nah, I think he kind of forgot. I think a lot of people in FGC forget what community really is. Community is not we're trying to all compete, so this is our community. No, once you get to a point to where you try to alienate a certain subsection of a community, you're gatekeeping. No, community is just a group of people who enjoy one thing. Now, they don't have to all partake in that one thing in the same light. They just enjoy that one thing. For example, let's say it's myself and three other friends. We all love fighting games. I am the competitive one. I love being competitive. I love meeting new people. I love going to tournaments. I love grinding. Let's say I have Bob here. You know, Bob is my second friend. He is behind me. He's trying to catch up to me. So this is the guy, maybe he's going to study tech. Maybe he's going to start getting into locals, start trying to find his way there. Then let's say we have John. Now, John is just happy where he's at. He's happy to be in the room, you know? He's contempt, he plays the game, he might not be as good as me and Bob, but he's just happy to be in the room, he's happy to grind and talk to us. And then you have, let's say, Lauren. Lauren, she's in the back, she's just spectating. She doesn't, per se, play the game, but she just loves watching the game. She loves watching us have fun. And that is a community. That is a community. Notice each friend were, was different in their own way. I was top dog. Bob was under me and he's trying to catch up to me to be top dog. John was the friend that he was content where, where he's at. He's not really trying to improve. He's just happy to be able to play and chill with us. And then Lauren, she doesn't play at all, but she can sit there, she can spectate, she can com comment, she can instigate. And that's what community is. I feel like with Nov's community, he wants it to be the FGC to be all competitive, all wanting to improve. And people just don't want to improve. People just don't want to grow. I had to learn that myself. In the FGC that I'm in, in my little fighting game group that I am, I'm in, we have people that want to improve, and then we got people that want to chill out, and that's okay. You know, I'm the one that I'm chasing the top dogs in the crew. And then you got the OGs that's chilling out. You got the friends that are they're really good, but they don't. They're like, we're not about to sit here and study tech like you do. We're not about to sit here and do all this that you do. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That is fine. Um, another thing is, no, I, I'm being honest with you, bro. Stop looking at what other people are doing. This is the cold hard truth. And I said it before and I'll say it again. Your advanced tech, people will come find you. We don't, you don't tell people where to go. We'll come find you when we want to learn that advanced tech. That's the truth. In the fighting game community, when you want to improve, you improve. You go out your way to go improve. But if you don't want to improve and you're content, you're just going to sit there and chill. You're going to be like this. Pressing buttons. You're not going to. You're going to get this hitbox like I got. And you're just going to be like, good games, guys. That's just the way it is. That's the way it is, bro. And you can't get mad at people that don't want to improve, especially people that play casually. You can't get mad at those people. Now, another thing that I did get mad is there are a few comments of people saying like, if you play single player, you're not a part of the group. Stop that gatekeeping stuff. I've talked about it before. I will always stand on it. And it's not OGs this time. It's people my age. There are people that are just coming to the FGC saying this. We gotta stop that mentality of, if I don't agree with your, with your, you know, line, like what you think it is, then you're not with us type deals. You do know there are people in the FGC, especially in games like Blobs Blue, that play time trials that can probably be majority or majority of the people in the FGC. Because a lot of people, it's about 80%, they do not go to tournaments, that do not train the way they claim they train, and only sit online. And it's people in single player that can beat every single last one of us. So chill out on that. You know what I'm saying? Chill out on that. Oh, if you ain't playing online, if you ain't going to tournament stuff, you not real FGC. That's that's corny, bro. That's mad corny. But check these videos out. <laughs> yeah, I'm hitting y'all with that. Check these videos out if you want to see me play a little bit of Grand Blue or talk about more FGC topics. Um, yet again, check out my Twitch. I will be streaming tomorrow at around 11:30, 12-ish. But other than that, it's been Nappy. Go ahead and enjoy your day. I'm out. Peace.